Hey there. So are you thinking about retirement? Yes. Are you thinking about retirement? And are you thinking about retiring here in Utah? If so, you are in luck. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the top retirement cities here in Utah, why people are retiring in those particular cities. And we're going to hop into it right now. Carla here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. If this is your very first time here, I'm a licensed and active real estate agent here in Utah. And this channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in Utah. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below. Make sure you tap that bell for notifications. So you're notified every week we drop a new video. We hear from people like you all the time who are looking to make a move, who are looking to relocate, buy or sell a property here in Utah. And we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, in a month, or even five years from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. My team and I would absolutely love to connect and would love to help you out. So retirement, 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 retirement. I have been hearing from so many clients recently that are looking at retiring here in the Beehive State. And if that is you, fantastic. Let's connect. I would love to chat with you. Before I continue, if you are looking at retiring here, making a move here to Utah, put the word, drop the word guide, G-U-I-D-E below. If you would like a copy of my free relocating here, moving to Utah guide, it has all different really important resources that you would want before you make the move here really to help you get kind of an idea about many of the things here in Utah. So again, drop the word guide, G-U-I-D-E, if you want a copy of that free guide of moving here to Utah. So let's hop right into some of the most well-known cities that people are retiring here to Utah. Number one is St. George. Yes, St. George, Utah offers a lot in the way of people who are looking to retire. Number one, the climate. The climate in St. George for many people who are looking at retiring, you've got a pretty, you know, during the winter time, you've got a pretty mild winter compared to Utah. Um, there is a lot of sports and recreation. There are a lot of incredible senior centers. There are just, if, can we talk about pickleball? If you are into pickleball, the pickleball facilities are amazing. They have, you know, just a lot in the way of that. If you are into the arts, if you're into, you know, shops and restaurants and dining, all of those things are very centrally located within St. George. If, like I said, if you are into, you know, really a lot of recreational sort of things, they have what are called the Huntsman Games. They are a senior, you know, senior games that take place in St. George every single year. The community involvement within St. George is next level as well. If you are a golfer, St. George may be a good location for you as well. So number one is St. George. Number two, let's talk about Park City. If you are a ski bunny, if you like the gorgeous mountains, if you like being in like kind of that main street, that small town vibe, Park City may be a good option for you. If you like, I know several people that have relocated here that have retired that have actually gotten jobs as ski instructors. Yes, ski instructors in Park City and are so happy to be there and so happy to be doing that. So Park City offers small town charm up and down, really neat Main Street, lots of fun, fine dining shops, restaurants, Park City, incredible views, you know, all over. So number two, Park City. Number three, moving just outside of Park City, we have what is called Heber City, Heber City or the Heber Valley. This encompasses Midway, Utah, which is right next door to Heber City, but you've got this Heber Valley. Heber City is just about 15 minutes south of Park City, Utah. So if you don't want to be right in Park City, Utah, but just slightly outside of Park City, Utah, many people love the Heber Valley simply because you've got incredible views of the entire valley all the way around. You've got mountains, picturesque, beautiful. You've got Mount Timpanogos that you can see just to the west of where Heber is located. And Heber has, again, similar to Park City, but it's got that real small town charm with Main Street. You've got a lot of like 
fine arts, dining and restaurants are going to be a little bit more limited than, you know, some of the other Park City or even St. George, but it has that real small town charm. It also is the pace of life there is a little bit slower. Things are just dialed back a little bit, which is very appealing for some. Moving along to the next one. Number four is Salt Lake City. If you want a faster pace of life, if you want more city life, if you want a lot of activity and a lot going on, walkability, a lot of public transportation, Salt Lake City may be an awesome fit for you. I actually know some, you know, some retirees that have bought things right downtown. They have, you know, these cute little flats that are right in the city and they have gotten those simply because they're like i love the accessibility i want to be super close to city creek i want to be close to everything that's going on in downtown salt lake i like the hustle i like the bustle i like all of that stuff so if you are looking for a faster pace of life than you would see in park city or the heber or even saint george salt lake city might be a good fit for you also in and around the salt lake city area there are so many places if you're like you know what I want to be close to Salt Lake City because I want to be close to the International Airport because I want, you know, the you'd be accessible to all those things, but you don't actually want to live in the city. There are so many good options that are just right outside of Salt Lake City. Phenomenal, you know, suburbs that are right outside the city. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City, and this is Provo. Yes, Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah brings in a lot of people who it is a college town so it brings in a lot of college age students and college age people that are attending brigham young university you also have right outside of provo you have orem utah and orem utah also has a large university it's called utah valley university so both of those it's going to feel a little bit more like a college town but you also have a lot of restaurants, a lot of dining, a lot of different shopping options. And there are a lot of activities that happen in and around both of those universities. So I know people that are looking to retire and they're like, I actually, I want to be really close to the college things because I love going to the football games. I like going to the basketball games. I like being able to go to the performing arts. I like, you know, all those different things, the museums, the things that are close by there that also is a really nice fit for some as well. So Provo, Utah, really close. Again, about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City. Now let's head up. Now our next one is going to be Logan. Yes, Logan, Utah is located about almost two hours north of Salt Lake. And Logan, Utah is home to Utah State, home of the Aggies. And it has, I like to think of Logan as almost being what Provo, Utah used to be, where it's very spread out, but it also is very, like, it's a slower pace of life there. I recently helped a client that had some family members that were living in Logan. She was living right outside of Salt Lake City, and she's like, you know what? I'm ready for the slower pace of life. I am ready to be closer to family. And so she actually wrote, you know, they actually relocated to Logan because they wanted a smaller feel. They wanted to be close to family. And again, that pace of life that you're going to experience in Logan is a little bit slower. They have a tiny little ski resort there too. So if you're interested in still skiing, you are close to Cherry Peak, which is a, you know, a ski resort that is right in Logan. So Logan is a, it is also another good option as well. You are going to have Ogden, Ogden. Yes, Ogden, Utah. Many people want to live in Ogden simply because of the affordability, housing and housing prices and costs there in Ogden tend to be less expensive than Salt Lake City, than Logan, than a lot of other surrounding areas. So Ogden is another good option. It's again, it's about an hour north of Salt Lake City, give or take, you know, with traffic could be about 45 minutes, could be, you know, 50 minutes too, but Ogden another good option simply because lots of different housing options, lots of different things to do, shopping, restaurants, dining. Um, they've got a cute little comedy club that is right in Ogden as well. So that might be a good fit for you as well. So these are our top cities that many people that I have helped that have relocated here have said, hey, you know, I'm looking at Logan, I'm looking at St. George, I'm looking at Salt Lake City, Park City, Heber Valley, 
all these different places are a fabulous fit if you are thinking about making a move out here. I've even had people reach out that said, you know what, I'm actually thinking of Moab. Moab is really co close to Arches National Park and they want that heat and the warmth and the, you know, being super close to all of the national, you know, a lot of those national parks that are down there, but also really wanting that active lifestyle, being out hiking, biking, all of that you know, is very much at your fingertips. So hopefully this gives you a good snapshot of some different cities. If you are thinking about making a move, relocating, retiring here to the Beehive State, feel free to give my team and I a call. We hear from people like you all the time and we absolutely love it. Take care and wishing you a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.